In this video, I'm going to discuss with you how we can uh, collapse categories using SPSS. And before we get into SPSS, let me share with you yeah, what do I mean by collapsing categories is yeah. So now let's say initially, okay, we look into A first. Okay, these are the categories that you have. If it's going to be coded one, it's Malay, two, Chinese, three, Indian, and four others. And now what you're planning to do, you want to change the categories from A to B, where you want to remain category one, you want to remain category two, but category three and four will be combined and become category three. That means you're going to bring the others into the third category, which is Indian here. Yeah, so you can do combine the category and just label it as Indian. Yeah, so this is what you're planning to do. So it's up to you. Probably you can label it Indian or you want to remain it others here. Yeah, so we can actually collapse the categories because initially you have to key in the data like this. So you don't have to re-key in the data again, but SPSS can help you to combine the categories. So let me show you using SPSS. So if I go to my variable view, yeah, and if we go to the category ethnicity here, yeah, let's say if I look into the values here, can you see they are Malay, Chinese, Indian, and others. So now what I want to do over here, I just want to remain one, two, three, and I want to combine yeah, four with three over here. Yeah. So we can do that. So how do we do it? We go to transform. We select recode into different variable. So, yep. Okay, let's say I just reset. So what you have to do is that you have to select ethnicity. You bring it over this side. So what will be the name of this new label? Okay, I put it as ETH. Yeah, um, underscore, let's say new. Yeah, and I still label this as ethnicity. Yeah. Then you go to old and new values. So what you do here now, you just okay, go back to value here. So the first one, what we're going to do, we're going to remain as one. You add it's Chinese. So you put number two here. You add. Now, what we are going to do is, yeah, we are going to change okay, the fourth one, yeah? Okay, and combine it with the third one. So we go to range. Three through four, it's going to become three. Yeah, so we add. So can you see now, we only have three range here. One, two, and three. So we have combined three and four into one category here. So what you do, you click on continue. Before you click OK here, you need to click on change. And then you click Okay. Now, if you go to your variable view, can you see there is ETH new? Yeah, we have already created a new variable here. So what we are going to do, we are going to reduce the decimal points to zero. But now we have to go to these values and create back the new categories. So number one, Malay. Number two, Chinese. And number three, Indian. Maybe you want to say and others, yeah, add. So you see now we only have three categories. You click OK, yeah. And if you go to your data view, can you see now there is a new variable ethnic city new where there's only one, two or three. Where if we go into the old one, okay, which is the ETH, you see there's a four here. Can you see? But you will not see the four in the new variable that you have created yeah so that's how you do it yeah in order for you to collapse the categories